ko siya, I didn't know anything about it. I had no idea at all what it is about. So I researched and saw na yun nga, para siyang skateboarding and surfing all in one. And uh, yun nga, as uh, you all know, water is my waterloo. <laughs> Medyo weakness ko yun. Pero pagdating sa surfing, I think I can show a thing or two. With the looks of it, it looks so exciting. It looks so interesting. And I'm definitely up to try it. Actually, sa sakto lang to sa summer, no? Kasi yung init, init. Kita nyo naman, sobrang init ngayon. So it's the perfect uh, sport for the summer. I am so stoked. Super duper excited for this. I love the water. I love anything about the water. I'm really, really, really thrilled to be trying this out. It's a new sport, apparently, here in the Philippines. And um, I didn't really know much about it. And then looking at it, it looks like a challenge because although I have some experience in surfing and in some water sports, I feel like it's different because it's more like skateboarding on water. I feel like it's just an episode. Ito. I think we're gonna be falling on our butts, but that's okay. And I'm just so excited to be in the, out in the sun, in the water, you know, for a summer episode. Saktong sakto. I'm excited because, of course, it's my first time uh, to try this flow ride. Bukod sa basketball, wala eh. Talagang first time ko tong maski surfing di ko pa na try. So talagang naka excited. Mukha siyang challenge. <laughs> well, my friend told me about this two months before they opened. Uh, he asked me to go with him. I couldn't go, obviously, because of schedules. Uh, obviously, a very exciting prospect. It's not too far from Manila. And I haven't done a lot of... Um, board sports. I'm pretty bad at board sports actually. I, I love wakeboarding but I'm bad at it. I, I'm not a, a surfer at all. I did have experience with kiteboarding but again, it's not my strength. Alright coach, so back into flowboarding. I want to ask about the machine that you use to generate the waves or the water. Um, what can you tell us more about that? And how fast does it go? May ibang speeds ba yan? Or based on your level? Or, you know, tell us about the machine. Yung ilalim niya may tank siya. Tapos sa ilalim nun, merong reversible propeller pump na siya yung nag-generate nung tubig na lumalabas dun sa, mm. ano niya, sa flop siya, niya. Uh, 40 to 45 kilometers per hour. Oh, wow. Uh, Yun ang pinakamahina? Or pinakamabilis? Um, or average? 45 pataas pa. Uh, 45 anong, pataas? Like, uh, hanggang 48, gano'n. Anong pinakamabilis? Kasi, opposite kasi, ang nangyayari. Oh. Pag pa, gano'n yung tubig, pagpapa tayo. Right. So, kaya, kaya tayo lumulutan. Parang nagsisurfing. Oh. So, the faster it goes, the harder you can do more tricks? Or ano yung difference when it's faster? Um, dito kasi wala pang ano eh. Wala pang dalawang klase yan, isang flow rider or, and yung may barrel. Flow barrel. Ah, flow barrel. Ano yung flow barrel? Yung para siyang nag-tube sa... Ah, sa na-emulate niya yung mismong wave. Oh, oh, mas mas advanced yun. <laughs> Pag may barrel. Then, uh, then dito, pwede kang gumawa ng tricks similar sa skateboarding. Lahat ng tricks ng skateboarding dito na ma-apply niya dito. Kaya may advantage yung mga... Skateboarders, mga surfers. Coach, what is a flowboard? Anong pagkakaiba nito sa mga ibang boards gaya ng wakeboard at surfboard? Yung flowboard, yun yung mismong ginagamit dito sa sport na to. So yun yun. Ito yun. Ang pagkakaiba nila sa skateboard, yung skateboard of course may truck siya dito at saka wheels nakatouch siya. Then sa surf naman, may fin siya. Ito, Pareho wala. ba yung size ng flowboard? May different size siya. Nagbabaris from 39 inches to 42 inches. And uh, the, the smaller it is, the harder it gets? Or balik? Um, hindi naman. Katulad din ng skateboard, may mga preference kasi yung mga riders. Eh, kung ano yung gusto nilang sizes. Or kung mas malaki sila, yung iba gusto mas mahaba. Apart from the flowboard, Coach, ano pa yung ibang equipment na ginagamit sa flowboarding? Parang meron pa pong isa pong board dito. Ito, ito naman yung bodyboard. Sa mga nagsasurf, tawag nila dito is boogie board. So similar lang din siya pag ginagawa mo sa dagat, yung mga ginagawa ng mga boogie board. Boogie board. Yeah. <laughs> Tapos dito, same lang din yung tricks. Mm -hmm. uh, but this one is for body? Bodyboard. Body Nakadapa ka or nakanil ka. Uh, 
Ito naman yung parang ni boarding sa kaysa uh, uh, sa wake skate. Is there a specific attire that you should wear when go boarding? Um, ano lang, rash guard and board shorts. Okay. No. I think we're well equipped. Rash guard, check. Board okay. shorts tayo. And, tayo. and dapat tanggalin natin yung accessories Jewish. like Earrings, earrings, nose rings, necklace, yan. Yan yan. Malabang cushion sa ulo o sa katawan para pag tumama. Malabang kesa. Okay lang. Provided na yung cushion sa gilid. No need for helmet. So safe naman. Safe naman ang flowboarding. Safe na safe. And kailangan nyo na matutunan yung proper build. Okay. May two divisions ng sport ng flowboarding. Is there such a thing as two divisions? Yung division lang nila is ito, bodyboard at yeah, yeah. um, flowboard. Yung flowboard, syempre, yung sa stand-up is right. dito. So that's it. Uh, different, ano sila, different sport. I think, Coach, ready na tayo. I'm so excited. Ready ka din ako. Gusto ko na subukan. Let's go! 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 Tips lang kapag kapag magsisimula pa lang kayo yung tail ng board, ito yung tail ng board, ito yung nose ng board. Yung tail dapat under your belly siya lagi. And then yung kamay mo kung sa mo kayang abutin as long as yung elbows mo naka-tuck inward. Ayun, tapos kung i-maneuver niyo naman siya from left to right, yung weight niyo kailangan manggaling sa shoulders, shoulders to elbow. Ngayon naman tuturo ko sa inyo yung flow boarding, yung stand up. So for starters Kailangan yung stance nyo. Na-figure out nyo muna yung stance nyo kung regular kayo or goofy. Yung regular, yung first foot nyo is yung left foot. Tapos, yung goofy, yung first foot nyo is yung right foot. And 80% ng weight nyo, bibigay mo sa likod. 20% naman sa front. Tapos, balance lang. May rope naman sa bigay na. Well, ito napapansin nyo, medyo naka-lean back siya. Yung weight niya na doon sa back foot niya. Importante yun sa mga beginners kasi pag yung weight mo, linigay mo sa front foot mo, yung tubig, papasok, papasok siya sa board. Eh. Regardless naman okay. kung, kung naka-bend ka or naka-stand naka straight ka, basta yung, yung katawan mo, naka-level lang siya sa board. Huwag ka masyadong yuyo ko or huwag ka masyadong yuyo ko. Yeah. Ginagawa niya naman ngayon is curving. Similar siya sa surfing. Yun naman is 360 degrees turn. Ayun, kung napansin niyo, Si Coach Pedro, pagka-wipe out niya, tinaas niya agad yung kamay niya, tapos inabot niya yung leg niya. So, importante, hawakan mo yung leg mo. And then, pag katama ka na doon sa wall, sa taas, dapat ang unang tatama doon yung paa mo. Hindi yung tagilira mo o likod mo. I was expecting uh, a tougher time. I had a hard time, no question, but I was expecting a tougher time, like so, uh, holding the rope, feeling ko, wipe out na ako. Actually, yung masakit sa akin is the, the hand part, eh, which is telling me that I'm probably holding on to the rope too tight because trying to maintain the balance. So, But I was just trying not to overthink everything and just looking at the coach. But okay, naman. I think I think a few more runs. Maka makaya na ng mas magandang wipeout. Okay na, nakabitaw na ako konti. Medyo slowly, slowly but surely. Nakaka-relax na ako ng konti.
probably the longest that I've stayed on the board. So I'm very, very happy that after several tries, I finally got it. So it's just about relaxing on the board. It's about removing attention on your body and letting the water carry you. Although your ending is so hot, but I'm glad that I'm able to have the confidence now to stay long on the board. Kaya kahit na puro sa'yo yung plang ako. 